right, everybody. This is Daily Reptile number six. This is my new season. Today we're going to be talking about um, caiman lizards and almost pretty much all of their care because there, I've researched and researched and researched and there is no, and I mean, real, I literally mean no caiman lizard care videos. So I'm going to give you my care that I do whenever I'm taking care of my cane lizard. First off, um, their diet. Their diet is extremely hard to find if you live in certain places in the world. Um, like down in here in Texas, it's pretty easy to find, I guess, but it's not the easiest thing to find. Their diet well, 80% of their diet consists of snails. Snails are 80% of their diet, like I just said. Um, that's a lot of their diet. You can also feed them this canned cat food over here that for the other 20%. It's this canned cat food. It's salmon flavored. Um, any salmon flavored canned cat food for a caiman lizard is perfect. Um, just give them a food bowl, they'll be fine. Um, another thing um, that you need for the caiman lizard is a water dish. Water dishes are a big thing for caiman lizards because they love the water. They're, I guess you could say caimans. Um, they mimic caimans in the wild because in the Amazon, they actually, there's pretty much all just caimans. No alligators, no crocodiles, pretty much all just caimans. Um, so they want to mimic with this skin here that feels exactly, looks exactly like a crocodilian. Um, these guys are highly arboreal, so you want to have a good sized branch for a good sized caiman lizard like these two branches here. Um, we are going to move these enclosures. Um, we're going to move this one over to where that cage is and that cage over to where the tegu is. That cage is currently empty, um, but yeah, these guys um the sometimes they will burrow um you want to have a good amount of bedding um they're not going to burrow every single day um but they will burrow in their lifetime i mean it's not rare for them to burrow they will burrow um like she i she, just some burrowed she, her yeah he so. just dug her out of a burrow um and yeah so you want to <clears throat> if you get a caiman lizard you're gonna look up for, you're gonna see some challenges in your caiman lizard care and taming processes, because taming can be a pain in the butt. Um, this guy is not tame at all. That's why I do not get him out that often. I always just, I just stick my hand in the cage. Um, and I, I tamed this girl down a long time ago. Yeah, so. I, taught, I told him what to do to tame him, tame her. And he did it. He did exactly what I said. And she's this tame. Um, she's not d puppy dog tame. She's not as tame as our tegu, but still pretty tame. Um, they do need a humid environment, so you want to mess them around. Well, it depends on how big your water dish is. Around two to three times a day, even four, maybe even four times, depending on how big your water dish is, and if you have moss, peat moss, anything like that. Um, but I have this high humidity fourth floor bedding. It keeps the hum humidity really high. As you can see right there, all that um, carbon, I mean, blah, whatever, is right in that little crack. It was more um, second day, and it was more yesterday filled up with this but yeah um they are tropical they're from the amazon like i said earlier so you want to have some tropical plants like vines 
and other little small plants just to make them feel at home. And UVB is a huge thing for these guys. You want to have a 5.0 UVB, a large one that gives off a lot of UVB rays. You know, and also a nice um, natural sunlight window would be nice. Like that one over there, that one gives straight into the cane and lizard environment. And another thing is their heat. Their heat does not need to be that high like a regular tegu would be, but it does need to be pretty high, like around 95 to 100 degrees in the tank. Even 110, 115 is fine too. Just like regular tegu, um, just like regular tegu temperatures, that's a regular tegu temperature, 110, 115. That's what we have for that tegu over there and that extra tag. Um, 40 gallons. Um, now we'll go to my brother who tamed her down, and he's going to teach you how to tame a caiman lizard. But I, I gave him these methods from taming monitor lizards and regular tegus. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is just you want to at least keep your hand in there, like just so... She you want to keep your hand in there. We'll get used to your hand being in the cage. Um, but you kind of want to keep your hand in the fist. So if she does try to, if your cane lizard does try to bite onto you, it won't get a hold of like a finger or anything like that. Because these guys do have very strong jaws. Um, but you want to like have your hand like this and kind of like, Scooting your hand closer and closer to him very slowly and then um, Let him like lick it a couple of times like taste it To a uh, seat and like you kind of want to pet it pet your cane lizard Starting from this tail and then going back up like from here all the way up to here, but slower than that um and then like you, my girl, she likes you petting her chin. I'm not sure how yours will react, or yours would like to pet her, pet, whatever. Um, but you just stick your head in there. I recommend putting a shirt in there, unless if your cane lizard gets really crazy, like this girl, this guy up here gets, whenever he put, um, Colby puts his shirt in his cane lizard cage. But other than that, that's pretty much all you need to do pretty much, but. And then handling, yeah. you need to handle them. Um, About two, once, once you get them like, to be a little handleable, you wanna handle them an hour to two hours a day, just so they'll get used to handling. And they also need to get used to reaching down in their cage. Mm -hmm. And, this is how long I told him to stick his hand into the cage like this or like this. Um, I told him to do it for 20 minutes. He did it for 20 minutes, and this is that's how tame. That's why she's so tame. And then um, the first thing you want to do once you try handling her, you kind of want to scoop while you're came with her. You kind of want to scoop it like that. Do like, not grab it. That's yeah, do not saying. grab it. Um, but just scoop. Your cane lizard up like that and then lift it up slowly. And then, like, um, just like don't grab it or do anything like that. Just let it, let your cane lizard walk onto your hand. Like kind of like a gecko. Geckos, you cannot grab geckos. You have to, um, pet them first, let them know that you're there, and then scoop them like that. But that's a lot lighter and smaller than a regular hatchling gecko, too. Um, and if you're going to get something this size, you just want to scoop them up and do something like that. And I definitely recommend getting them as a small, uh, younger age than this. Like, probably about an, a hatchling. Um, yeah, these guys were meant to be breeders. They bred them just to be breeders. And they came out perfect, and they are high-quality caiman lizards, and we're hopefully going to try 
breeding them once he I mean he and she are old enough to breed um but these are these guys do not make the best pets they have hard harder to care harder to take care I mean hard yeah harder to take care of harder to tame and yeah that was my caiman lizard care taming and that was um and that was daily reptile thank you for watching subscribe and yeah this is the female caiman lizard